Today's color is called the Nutcracker Ballet, which is such a cute name. Um, I don't know if I told you, but this, here you go, this is the fade. These are the last three colors. I can't hold up four, so these are the last three. And once again, very pink. So that's pretty exciting. Um, I don't know if I told you the content of this yarn. So it's the soft sock base from a homespun house. Fingering weight. And I think I did say it was 75% superwash merino and 25% nylon. And 94 yards per skein. And it's a 20 gram mini. So this is today's color, day four of Advent. This is gonna be a super quick chat because I need to go back to work. It's after five, but I have some things I need to take care of. So I'm gonna head back to work, um, but I wanted to drop in and show you the colorway, the Advent colorway for today that I pulled down earlier. Uh, and I do want to just quickly chat about my wool and honey sweater. So the designer of this sweater is Andrea Maori. And I think if you know this sweater, it's supposed to be three quarter length on the sleeves. When I was making it, it was, it was like this. And so the cuff was like in the middle of my elbow but then as soon as I blocked it, the sleeves grew. So I added rows thinking, oh, that's a good place for my elbow before the ribbed section. But I probably could have left it and had I wet blocked my gauge swatch, I would have known that the material was gonna grow. So this yarn is Brooklyn, tweed loft and it is a very delicate yarn and the colorway is called cinnabar so if you are interested in this colorway i love this colorway it's like it's a red that verges on orange like a rusty rustic red so the content of this yarn is that's yeah, Brooklyn Tweed Loft. And Loft is a two ply fingering weight yarn, gently woolen spun from soft, springy American Targi Columbia wool. Um, it is a distinctive spinning process that gives Loft a unique bounce and airiness. This is a very, yesterday I, I think it was, I was talking about making my husband a sweater that was really lightweight. So it doesn't, it's not too hot. I think this would be a good contender for that. Once it's knit up, it's really strong. But when you're knitting, it's easy to break the yarn. So just to watch out if you're using this yarn, it can break really easily. Especially if you're a tight knitter. I think back when I made this in 2020, I was probably a bit of a tighter knitter than I am now. So this, idea, um, this lightweight yarn is good for accessories, lace, and nuanced color work. It says handle gently while knitting, then wet block to see loft bloom into full beauty, which is so true and it grows so just if you're making the wool and honey sweater and you're thinking oh these arms are too short it's supposed to be three quarter length if you're thinking it's too short just go back stop if you didn't do a gauge swatch do a gauge swatch and block it to see how much it's going to grow i just have one quick story about this sweater <laughs> so i mean it's fingering weight and there's a lot of fabric right so I made this sweater and then I was blocking it and my puppy, well, toddler dog, Yumi at the time, I was sitting in my upstairs porch 
and I could hear a little something going on in the house. It was like some rustling around. And I was like, what is that? And I go into, I call it the yoga room, but it's really a yoga yarn room of my own, a la Virginia Woolf. <laughs> but I went into that room and here's Yumi, literally with her mouth. I think it was right over here. She was mouthing and like biting the yarn. I think because it was, I had blocked it and it was drying and it really smelled. It's a sheepy wool. Like even now it's a sheepy smelling wool. And I bet she could, she's a sheep herding dog. She's a pooly. So poolies have the long cords. It looks, she looks like a mop dog. I'm sure you've seen her by now in these, in my vlog mess, but she bit a part of the sweater off and I had just spent, and it was way up here. And I was, I had just, I mean, even this ribbing section took forever to get through. It is just a very fine gauge. And I was completely, I was never so mad at my dog. <laughs> I was like, what did you do? <laughs> but I mean, she's just being a dog, you know? Um, and I was furious, but I figured out how to fix it. Just, I just went in there and sort of fixed it. I don't know how even. I think she even pulled out with these honeycombs. She even pulled out some of those and I went in and fixed. It must have been like around here. I don't know. Anyway, I fixed it and you can't even tell, but I... <laughs> After all those many hours and months, I mean, I think I started it in April and I didn't finish until like the 4th of July week that year during the early pandemic days. So anyway, <laughs> be careful with your dogs um, if they're around wool in general, but really sheepy smelling wool. Yeah, when you're blocking, I would recommend blocking and putting the blocking situation up high on a table, on your bed, something like that. I was blocking it on the floor, so my bad, because she's a dog and she was a puppy. So what's she going to do? Smells great. So anyway, that's my story about this sweater. I love it. It's so comfy. Um, I can just wear a tank top underneath and it is just super comfortable. It's, it's wool, but it's it's not scratchy, it's kind of, it's pretty soft. So, Brooklyn Tweed Loft yarn in Cinnabar. Hope you're all having a good day and it was fun to check in. I will talk to you later, bye.